I don't even necessarily know how to define what I do for Mo, other than like photos, manage a few cars in the collection. Gemini have probably exercised the most out of all the cars, more than Mo himself probably. It's a bit intimidating at first, but now you get to know the car, it's probably the best 964 I've driven, just all around. I don't know if most people would see like a raw, stripped out build as kind of like a gentleman driver at the same time, gone the extra step with the interior, like the upholstery work and the, the details. Most people would probably not go through the lengths to like repaint the entire interior, refinish everything, add leather where there normally would not be leather. I think anyone who drives that car, it would be a unique experience and I haven't driven any other car like that. The pieces came together just right, all the different people that were involved. I always tell Mo, like, if, if you ever were to sell the car, I don't know if you could recreate, like there's a, everything about it is just on point. The suspension isn't just a catalog list of parts, it's a combination of the right parts and it's been developed by people who know the cars, know the chassis. I'd be happy with just that, I wouldn't need the 4 liter, but yeah, the 4 liter is like, it takes it over the top and then the interior makes it that much more enjoyable to be inside the cabin and I don't even know how you describe it, it's, yeah, it's an event that you look forward to. It's been a huge privilege to drive the car as much as I've been able to and to photograph it so many different places and really take my time to take it in and create something special. Gemini started in life as a regular 964 or C2, and the owner had a vision. He wanted his own personal take on the 964 RS Club Sport, and uh, this was not designed to be a track car, it was designed to be one man's passionate pursuit of perfecting his dream. And what I really like about this car, and I, I advise people when they're, when they're pursuing something, is to have a strong vision and to not compromise. Because usually what happens is when people compromise, their vision becomes polluted. And so it's important to go into a, a project with a, with a strong vision, what, what it is you want the car to be, what you want to achieve, as well as having an understanding a little bit about Porsche history and where this particular car fits into the Porsche lexicon. And what's interesting to me now is this modern Porsche enthusiasts look at the spec sheet and they can't figure out what is the secret sauce in a 964 RS because when you go down the spec sheet, it doesn't look that different. You know, Porsche just tweaked and pulled and touched and massaged 5% here and 10% there. And they somehow came up with this magic formula. It's understated, but pure and raw and true. And so much about the air cool 911 experience is that soundtrack you hear right there. It just grabs you, it screams at you. It's 100% Porsche. Just the purity. And when you drive a car that feels just right, oh, you know you have something special.